Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls is a popular series where a man uses his skills to survive in the wild. From terrifying creatures to extremely daring stunts, Bear Grylls does it all. Today, our group will be proving to all of you that what Bear Grylls did was correct. So for now, sit back and enjoy. Gravity played a huge role in Bear Grylls' fate for him because gravity is what pulled him down when he fell. Gravity is what keeps everything on the ground. The center of the gravita gravitational pull of Earth is the Earth's core. The Earth's core creates an invisible layer around the Earth that pulls everything towards it in order to stop everything from floating away, which creates a stable home for us humans to live in. Everything with mass has a gravitational pull. The greater the mass, the greater the gravitational pull. Our mass isn't too great, which is why we are all stuck, stuck together. The Earth's mass is so great that we are pulled towards it. Wait. When Bear Grylls falls off the helicopter and does a free fall, he uses one of the forces caused by gravity, weight. As we know, weight is capable of giving a downward force, which creates pressure. This relates to gravity because as Bear Grylls plummets down deeper and closer to the ground, his weight creates a downward force, which is pressure, and his reason for falling faster is because the pull of gravity affects him. For an example, see how this plastic foam cup falls. Cup upside down. <laughs> As you can see, the cup flutters lightly down to the ground. This is like a demonstration of Bear Grylls falling and doing a skydive off his helicopter. The, we the weight of the cup was light, therefore the downward force which created pressure wouldn't have been strong, meaning that the pull of gravity didn't affect the cup that much as it had air resistance. There's a basic difference, because mass is the actual amount of material contained in a body, whereas weight is the force exerted by the gravity on that object. Mass is how much matter an object has. Weight is how strongly gravity pulls on that matter. If you were to go to the moon, your weight would not be the same because the pull of gravity is weaker there than on Earth. But your mass would stay the same because you are still made up of the same amount of matter. This refers to the free-falling video of Bear Grylls. He did a jump called the halo jump. This jump is usually executed by the military because the velocity that they fall from cannot be detected by the radar. Magnetism. Magnetism works because of the specific pattern of atoms and is produced by a motion of electric charges, which results in attractive and repulsive forces. Bear Girls makes a compass to know where he is going. He makes a simple compass from a leaf and a piece of wire. He starts to pour water on a shallow hole in a massive rock, then he rubs the wire in his heck to create magnetic energy. He then places the leaf into the water and drops the wire on top of the leaf and the wire and the leaf start turning north. How does the north end work of the compass? The north end of the magnet is drawn to an allegiance with the Earth's magnetic field. During one of Bergel's episodes, he makes his own compass by magnetizing a small object and putting it in water. This is called magnetism. Magnetism is a force that attracts objects closer to the magnet. This is because inside objects with magnetism, they have a special atom called ions, which is what attracts the objects closer to the magnet with magnetism. Magnetism can be used to make compasses as compasses need magnets. What Bergels did was right, and this can be proven when our own team makes an attempt to recreate what he did to make the compass. Now, here is the video of us recreating what he did. As you can see, Bear Girl's compass does work as the magnetized clip gives the compass a reaction which is making a face north. Friction. Friction results from making a bond between atoms and molecules of mating surfaces. The force between them is called electromagnetic nature. 
When we drag the two objects in opposite directions, these bonds are broken and built again with new atoms or molecules. This process creates heat. When Berger starts a fire, he uses friction to create the fire. We can prove this as numerous people around the internet have used friction to generate heat. As you can see, these people have succeeded in making a fire from friction. Therefore, what Bear Grylls did was right.